Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I welcome all of you to join me, Lionel and Edward, to offer the praise and worship to our Heavenly Father. सारे सृष्टि के मालिक तुम ही हो सारे सृष्टि के रक्षक तुम ही हो करते हैं हम साधर प्रणाम गाते हैं तेरा गुणगान जी हाँ कृष्ण प्यारे भाइयों और बहनों आज की इस पवित्र मिसा बलिदान में मैं आप सबों के लिए प्रार्थना करता हूं आपके लिए प्रार्थना करते हुए हम सारे विश्व के लोगों के साथ मिलकर उस महान प्रभु को धन्यवाद दे दे जिसके पास से हर एक जीवन आती है उसी महान प्रभु को धन्यवाद जिसके पास सारे जीवन लौटना है तो हमारी यही विनती है आज के दिन कि प्रभु हमें हर प्रकार के बुराई से बचाते हुए हम सबों को उन्हीं की छाया में रखे क्योंकि हम विश्वास करते हैं उसके शब्द पर तो आज के पवित्र मिशा में आप सबों के लिए प्रार्थना कर, करते हुए धन्यवाद की मिसार्पण की जा रही है सेबेस्टिन परिवार की ओर से और हम लोग प्रार्थना करेंगे साइमन और मेरी के आत्मा के लिए जो फ्रांसिस और मार्गरेट ने अर्पण की है और अपने आप को इस मिसा बलिदान में योग्य रूप से भाग लेने के लिए हम अपने सारे गुनाहों के लिए प्रभु से क्षमा मांगे ताकि हम पवित्र बने और जो पवित्र है वो स्वर्ग पाता है तो वी कन्फेस टूगेदर आई कन्फेस टॉल माई थी गॉड एंड टू यू माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन माई थॉट एंड माई वर्स in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my most grievous faults therefore i ask blessed may the virgin all the angels and saints and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen
Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sin, they may persevere in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham bowed to the ground, and God said to this to him, Here now is my covenant with you. You shall become the father of a multitude of nations. You shall no longer be called Abraham, your name shall be Abraham, for I will make you father of a multitude of nations. I will make you most fruitful, I will make you into nations, and your issue shall be kings. I will establish my covenant between myself and you, and your descendants after you, generation after generation a covenant in perpetuity to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land you are living in, the whole land of Canaan to own in perpetuity and I will be your God. God said to Abraham, you on your part shall maintain my covenant, yourself and your descendants after you, generations after generation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response to the psalm, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. Kindly repeat. The, the Lord, Lord remembers his covenant forever. forever. Consider the Lord and his strength Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, the judgments he spoke. Our response, the, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, he, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Our response, the Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. You have filled our with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory be to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead. And yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father. 
but the one of whom you say he is a God. Although you do not know him, but I know him, and if I were to say I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourself. <laughs> but I know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that you would see my day. He saw it, and he was glad. The Jews then said, You are not yet fifty, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. As they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus himself and left the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. You heard what Jesus said to the Jews. I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. Abraham kept the word of God and he was blessed. Later on his descendants turned away from the word. And for us, the word has become flesh. Now this word has to be trusted and believed in because this word taking flesh is the savior of the world. Let us all turn to him at home these days. Keep the word of God supreme in our families, nourishing ourselves with every word that comes from God. And may he who believes in this word, Jesus had said, will never see death. That is what we pray for ourselves and for all the people of the world. That the word made flesh, we may believe in him. And this believing is what is going to set us free. Trusting that the Lord is going to walk with us. Let us now enter in the second part of the Eucharistic celebration, that is the offerings. Surrender ourselves, our families and our nation, that the Lord in accepting us may change the world into something beautiful for us to live in. We offer to him. Father, take the gifts we bring, listen to the prayer we sing, sanctify our sacrifice from heaven above. To draw us close to you we pray, by the bread we seem this day. May we live by this great mystery of love. Take this bread and take this wine, offer to you, Lord, divine. Take our hearts and make them that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen.
Lord, look with favor, we pray, on the sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of the world. Accept the whole creation, Lord, and save us from all harm and all evil. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God. For the days of his salvation, saving passion, and the glory resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient folk is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time we were betrayed and entered willingly into his fashion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, shaking. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, counting us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church read throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Sampo, Thomas Dabri, our bishop, and all the clergy. Let us silently pray for all those who have died, died in the hope of rising again. And let us now turn to Jesus, praying for ourselves, Praying for the whole world that is affected by this virus. Save us, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, his Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may be merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Kreta Tuahari, 
Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the past, and the, the glory, glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Allow me not to be separated from you. Jesus, my good, my sweet and only love, inflame this heart of mine, that it may be always on fire for you. God did not spare his own son. He handed him over for all of that he may give us life eternal. Let us pray. <coughs> Nourished by your saving gifts, we ask your mercy, Lord, 
that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, we may make our, us partakers of eternal life. Bless all your people locked out in their homes. Grant us this moment that we may grow in deeper love with you, with our families, and keep our families under your loving care and protection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you all and remain with your love and forever. Amen. So dear friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. God's love is so the new books, the lectionary that the whole country will be using from this Palm Sunday. The old lectionaries that we have will not be in use, but these are the ones that will be using from this Holy Palm Sunday. As we use these new books, be sure, of course I don't know, you may not be joining us in the church for celebration, but we'll let you know more about how we are going to celebrate this Holy Week, the most important week in our own life in the liturgical seasons. First time in history, our churches will be locked. But that is not important. Your heart should be open. You are the church. I hope you are already building the church in your families. Yes, sir. Yes, you got <laughs> whole time. Time is extended because we are not getting down to our families. Remove all the weaknesses of our families. God bless you all and take care. Thank you. <laughs>